What's going on guys? So we are on the home stretch of finishing our manual swap. We got all of our wiring done. Everything works. The car runs and drives. So now we just got to put this center console back together and then that will be it. The manual swap will be done. So let's get started. As far as tools go, we don't need that many. Really all we need is a uh, Phillips head screwdriver. I use a combination of a short one and a longer one to get all of the screws in. We don't have any 18 millimeters or any 10 millimeters to get this thing on because there's no automatic shifter. Just a couple of screws to keep the trim in and the rest of them are going to be wired clip-ins uh, by hand. So let's get started. So first on the list is going to be this ugly duckling right here. So we're going to move him around and sort of swivel him into place and sort of work him up into position. So make sure not to get any of the wires caught underneath. And these little tabs on the side sort of need to go in underneath. So don't get any of them caught outside. It's a little bit of a trick. And then we're going to sort of wiggle him up into his home. And once this is back in position, we have a couple of screws to go back on. So first off, we have one here and one here, the two up top. There's one right behind this little brace here. There's also one right behind this bar here, but because that one is so back there, I'm not going to put that one back in. If you guys really want to, go for it. It was a pain to get out, but I'm just going to leave that guy out. There's one right under here, and he likes to hide underneath this little sound editing. So there's one there, there's one there, and then there's our main two right up front here. Let's sort of move that to the side. Now from there, we're going to slide this whole center console up into position and then we're going to put that screw in right there so that'll hold the center console piece into place and then our screw back in this guy will hold that in position and now we're going to install this little ashtray trim piece drop that guy in and so he's held in by these little uh, screw and clip combo so make sure you get the screws in the clips push those guys through and then we're going to screw these guys down now our ashtray can go back in, sweet. Once all of that good stuff is on, we're going to go ahead and throw this guy back in. So we've got a wire with the white clip and then one with the brown clip. So we're going to throw the white one on the bronze connector and then the uh, ground wire is going to go on the bigger one. In addition to that, he does have a little light, so we're going to clip that guy in. Now if you have heated seats, so the black part of that is going to go on the outside. We'll get our other one plugged in here too. So we have the blue connector for the ASC if you have that, and the black part is going to go down on that guy. And once all of that is on, we're going to feed this guy in, and he should sort of clip into place like that. Next we've got our wire for our little computer. So on the connector, make sure that this part is down sideways. If it's up like this, push in on the little plastic end there and then flip that guy down like that. Now we're going to plug him in and as you push him in the connector is going to want to sort of go up so we're going to push that all the way up like that. We're going to make sure he's oriented properly and he should just clip into place. Now from here I'm going to feed the hazard switch up and put the hazard switch on properly. Uh, the one with three of them is going to go on the one with the three hole section. So you can't really get this guy on backwards, just a heads up. So we're gonna put that in, down, and you should clip into place. Now we're gonna do the door lock switch. So one thing to note is the door lock switches have the exact same connection as the window switches. So I would put your door lock switch on and in. So once you get this guy on, I would put him in Get the key on with all the doors closed and make sure that that's the uh, actual lock switch and not the rear window switch, if you have a rear window switch. So moving on to the window switches, we have a yellow and a white if you have a uh, convertible or a sedan. If you have a coupe, you basically only have two and it shouldn't be that hard, but basically the colors are going to match. So yellow with yellow, white with white. And then that guy can pop into his spot. There we go. And it's going to be the same deal with the uh, driver side switches. I'm going to feed those three up. The white goes with white, yellow with yellow. And for this connector, if you have it, you're going to want to make sure that this section here is slid forward like that. You're going to put him on, and as we're putting him on, slide that black connector forward like that. 
So if you're having a hard time getting him on, you can also push that window switch through like that to give yourself some more room to work on that connector. And once that is on, feed our wires down and in. And then that is gonna go in like that. And we're gonna put our shift boot on. And so this guy has little plastic clips that run on both sides. So make sure to get those all clipped in. Be a little bit of a trick. And now our shift knob is gonna go on. So give that guy a good smack on there. And that's it, we're good to go. All right, our center console is back together and our manual swap is complete. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep it fresh and I will see you guys later.